Views and ideas expressed in this video is only a theory and has no factual evidence to suggest that it's true. Your discretion is advised. Before I start this video, I want to make it perfectly clear that I'm a huge Line A fan. In my personal opinion, Line A reminds me of Ovechkin in a lot of ways, and I truly do believe that he has the potential to have multiple 50 goal seasons in his career. But boy does he suck right now. He's just not looking like himself. He's missing shot opportunities, seems uninterested in the play, and looks like he just gives minimal effort. Dustin Bufflin's frustration even boiled over at one point. Check it out. Here's Dustin Bufflin, left the puck in the corner. Line A didn't see what he was doing at first, and now he's got the puck and he's told to move by Bufflin. And sure, you can say, oh relax, he's a 20 year old guy on pace for 35 goals, but come on, let's be real here. Yeah, it's true that he has 25 goals in 57 games, but 72% of the goals comes from 8 games in November. And when you go look at his overall season stats, all I see are zeros. And Line A has been benched a lot. Like, no joke, sometimes he literally plays 10 minutes per night. So what the hell is going on? Fortnite. Now, if you don't know what Fortnite is, it's a game where you can play with friends to be the last man standing. And the typical match will last around 15 minutes. And you might have seen some Fortnite jokes here and there about Line A from YouTube, Twitter, or Reddit. For example, when the hockey guy talks about Line A's slump, there are Fortnite jokes. When Tim and Sid talk about Line A, there are Fortnite jokes. So I started to research and found Line A's Fortnite accounts online. By the way, this is probably a violation of his privacy, but in my defense, this is all public and accessible for anyone who wants to check it by themselves. Still, I don't feel great about it, and yet, I'm doing it? This account is confirmed by well-known streamers, as well as Barstool Sports, which they invited Line A to play with them. And immediately when you see his profile, this is what you notice. He plays a lot of Fortnite. In 2018, he played a total of 577 solo matches, 1624 squad matches, and 1283 duo matches. A total of 3484 matches in 2018. But okay, I mean, that's the off season included, so obviously it's understandable that a sports athlete has a lot of downtime during the summer. Okay, let's look at it from the beginning of September to today. 239 solo games, 798 squad matches, and 674 duo matches. 1,711 matches since September of 2018. There's also unusual Fortnite rumors of Line A and Ehlers during their road trips. Line A and Ehlers uh, bought TVs in various places where they and didn't have them. There. They just leave them there. So what do you, you fly, mean? Like in fly into Ottawa, you buy a TV at the Brookstone so that they can play side by side, and then you leave it there, and next time you play Ottawa or next time you play Calgary or whatever, they're buying TVs everywhere so they can have multiple TVs. Okay, I understand that. The problem got so bad in Vancouver that the Canucks had to ban Fortnite for their road trips. But Captain Horvat did come out and say that it was for team bonding purposes. But these NHL veterans are probably guessing that there's more to the story. I don't quite get that it had to get to the point in Vancouver that they had to ban it. Like, I bet you I know what happened. Is guys weren't sleeping in the afternoon yeah, oh yeah. the games, like mowing through. Like, in our day, there were guys, and certainly before us, guys that would night before a game, you'd be like, "Man, you got to get to bed." Yeah. Like we play tomorrow. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. And so they would stop or not, and then they would get rid of them. Oh, this is ridiculous. There's never been a player ruined by gaming. But how ridiculous is it really? In 2018, NHL reporter Jeff Merrick talked about a prospect on his 31 Thoughts podcast for Sportsnet. And he said, he's a recent first round draft pick for a very, very prominent NHL team, will probably never play in the NHL because of a video game addiction. He'll play until all hours of the night and into the morning, and then he'll have no energy for the next day. Like he'll be a write-off. And it's also said that this first round prospect is currently going to therapy sessions to combat his addiction. But again, it's all just a theory and it's obviously not proof of anything, so take it for what it's worth. And yeah, Patrick, I think I found something you can blame your season on. One hour later.
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. As soon as I finish making this video, Patrick Liney scores two goals. <laughs> oh, that actually makes me a little bit upset. God, uh, this is unbelievable. Like he, like he didn't score. Like he was he, okay. Like l legit, he had no goals in 15 games. And then, <laughs> as soon as I make a video, he scores two goals. Oh my god. But 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 but. Hold on. The theory is that Line A plays a lot of Fortnite. Therefore, his performance is suffering. He hasn't played in four days. Like usually, he would honestly play like. 12 games, 20 games, maybe even 30, 40 games sometimes. Literally, like, at the minimum every day. But he hasn't played in four days. The theory is still alive, boys! <laughs> oh my god, that really sucks, though. Oh, I can't believe he did that. I need something to blame this on. 